Hey girls and guys and gents and gentlemen, girl get together. Y'all know, y'all know how I do. Yes, girl, look at my skin. My skin looks like someone whose credit score is in the 700s. We're gonna claim it right now. Uh, <laughs> there is a lot of stuff in front of me. I'm gonna show you a lot of products for protein sensitive slash low porosity hair. Now disclaimer, all of the products I'm gonna show you are not protein free, but a good 80% of them are protein free. And y'all, I went old school. I went to the long hair, the long hair care forums to pull some of this information. Um, but this is a regular chit chat with some hair stuff. Um, and I will pull that pull down a twist and show you what my hair looks like. I've been moisturizing with this. Okay, Camille Rose, y'all, honey hydrate, y'all. <laughs> My husband get on my nerves. We're gonna talk about him in a minute though. It has to deal with this. Cause it looks like honey, right? Oh, okay, we'll go back to that in a minute. So y'all know how we do this. We talk about personal life. We talk about what's in these YouTube streets, which is a bunch of foolery. And we talk about what I've been watching, which is not a lot. I've been watching a lot more movies than I have shows. Um, so yeah, let me just first off say, oh, and, we, and we're gonna be talking about hair stuff, but the hair stuff will mostly take the place of personal stuff because I ain't doing nothing. Ain't nothing going on at home. So y'all, I did wash my hair um, a couple of days ago. It's been four days and I rinsed out all, washed out that texture ID. When I tell you my hair felt like my wash day took forever. When I first went to wash my hair, I used ORS olive oil shampoo, shampoo, excuse me. It immediately started to ball up. It, I was like, oh hell, I stopped. I completely rinsed it out. I applied like a Suave's coconut sh uh, conditioner to rinse it out. And then I applied the Eden Body Works uh, conditioner with honey, left it on. And it felt okay. It still felt funny, it felt okay, okay all right? My wash day took a couple of hours because I took my time to detangle and all that, all right? So that happened. Oh, and I did, an, I did an ACV rinse, which I absolutely do know that that really doesn't do anything. It's not as um, effective as using a legit detox clarifying shampoo. I did use a little bit of a detox shampoo still. I need to really, really, you know, strip my hair, which I'll show you some stuff here in a minute. So anyway, Hair felt like trash when I first did it. I did a second wash with, like I said, using the Eden Body Works deep conditioner set under the heat cap for a while. Yeah, it, I did two separate washes in one day because it just wasn't feeling right. So once I did that second wash with the Eden Body Works deep conditioner, rinsed it out, um, immediately put on the TGIN Twist and Define Cream because I heard that that's great for low porosity. Still felt like, like, you know, whatever. So then I went back a couple of hours later and I added the Onion, not Onion, the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In felt fabulous. Okay, so that's what I've been using. Um, so, yeah, I know. That's what I did for the wash day. But I still have not really clarified my hair, which is why I'm going to show you all this madness. So, what I'm going to do is show you everything I have. Do not judge me. Some of this stuff I already had. Some of the stuff I bought. The only thing you won't see here is I accidentally bought the Kinky Tress. <laughs> I know you're thinking accident. No, listen to me. I accidentally purchased the Kinky Tresses um, collection moisture bundle because I was trying to do something else and I accidentally hit submit order. But it's okay. You know, um, I'm gonna, yeah, it's okay. So let's just go right in, you guys. I have stuff here. I probably should have done this by product. Let me organize this a little bit better, you guys. This is a dang on shame. And deep conditioners leave in here's another shampoo leave in leave in leave in cleanser all right um all right so first up cleansing products all right we have the aztec secret indian healing clay definitely definitely will be detoxing my hair in like a couple of more weeks okay we have suave's daily clarifying shampoo this stuff is bomb.com I didn't have any my wash day, that's why, I did, or I would have used it. So I, I purchased this the day after my wash day. I would be using this my next wash day, and I'm gonna try my best to film a video, y'all, but I'm, I'm in my feelings right now, so you have to bear with me. Um, protein friendly or protein free and sulfate free, LK Naturals, 
Caribbean coconut milk shampoo. Now you guys, there's a lot of, not a lot, but people who are protein sensitive, there's a lot of discussion on whether or not you should stay away from coconut or products that have coconut. My suggestion would be to look at the ingredient list. If, if it's further down on the ingredient list, it's okay. Um, watch out for words like keratin, hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed protein, amino acids, stuff like that. Um, I used this once or twice before and it's okay. And from what I understand, please correct me if I'm wrong. From what I understand, coconut oil does not have as much um, protein as we really think. But I don't use coconut oil anyway. So I was using fenugreek oil, which we stopped using, all right? Um, a, another one that is not necessarily protein free, but it's protein, great for protein sensitive is TGIN's moisture rich sulfate free shampoo. I didn't use this last wash day. I don't know why, but I didn't use it. Um, when I do use this, I will be diluting it though, going forward. Now I will say one thing when you are to use something like this shampoo, um, I know there's several other companies. Um, Shea Moisture has a low porosity protein free shampoo, by the way, you want to follow up with a moisturizing shampoo and you want to follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner. All right, moving on to rinse out conditioners. There are, there are several affordable look. I'm trying to find stuff that is affordable because I have to use a lot of product because I have a lot of hair. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money, you guys. So both Swap, VO5, Aussie, and Tresemme offer products that are protein free or protein sensitive. So Swap's Apple conditioner is supposedly protein free. I don't have an example here, but Tresemme's color conditioner and Tresemme's Botanique nourishing conditioner. Aussie's Moist is protein free and their three min minute miracle um, moist is protein free. All right, so now as far as deep conditioners, Eden Body Works Natural Deep Conditioner. This is a staple of mine actually and it just so happened to be protein free. Um, I don't have an example here but TGIN's Honey Miracle is also uh, protein free and Obaya's that Baba Su Oil is protein free. Now, Ironically, nearly all of the products from the African Pride Moisture Miracle is protein free. So here we have their Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox Heat Activated Mask. We have the Pre Shampoo, okay, which is protein friendly. And we have their Curling Cream with Shea Butter and Flaxseed Oil. I'm not sure if the Leave-In Cream though is protein free. Um, I'm not sure at all because it has coconut oil. It has a couple of different things that make me suspicious of it all right so um i don't have an example here but the lot of body curl milk is coming in i ordered a couple of those that's protein free but cream of nature leaving curl milk and their shampoo their um oyons honeydew i know y'all got a lot of stuff here as far as styling aunt jackie's curl la la curling curl custard and TGIN's Twist and Define Cream. And of course, the Honey Hydrate by Camille Rose, the leave-in Honey honey Sticky. Now, I'm gonna take down a plaque so y'all can see what my hair looks like. This has been working. Baby, when I tell you my hair feels awesome with this stuff, still not there because I need to go on with this. Still not there. Um, But I had this on the table getting ready to use it right and my husband's like why is there honey it was like in the living room so he's like why do you have honey in here why and even he even picked it up he's like it's all sticky why do you have honey i said that is a hair product and he's looking at it y'all that reminded me of a time let me go ahead and take it down a twist that reminded me of a time when i had made a deep conditioner and had placed it in the fridge why did he go in and almost was trying to eat it? Because it had avocado oil, not avocado oil, it had avocados in it and other stuff. He even smelt it and was like, where's the chip set? I said, if you don't sit your ass down, that's my deep conditioner. So he was so frustrated. He's like, you know what? You need to buy yourself a little mini refrigerator for all your little hair products. I'm like, actually, that's not a bad idea, but no. No. So I'm going to show tell y'all what I'm going to be using and doing. But let's take down a twist or two because I did moisturize my hair yesterday with the Honey Hydrate. Oh, yes. It feels really, really good. I know the coloring is a bit off, but 
my hair feels good now unfortunately for me with this honey hydrate it is sticky and it has this film residue it's a product that I would use only if I wore my hair like this. I honestly probably wouldn't use it. I may use it along with a wash and go. Um, like with a hair gel for a wash and go. That would be amazing. But it's just too heavy. So y'all, those are all the products I have that are protein friendly and for protein sensitive people. But let's just be clear. I would not be using all of these products because honestly, that will, you know, defeat the purpose of making sure I don't have product buildup. What I plan on doing is pre-pooing with oil. Um, I used to use Suave's coconut conditioner. I'm not going to do that anymore. Pre-poo with oil. I'll be cleansing my hair with this. And with the Oregon oil shampoo, I, I can just purchase it at Walmart. I'll go in between these two, but yeah, I'll stick to one or the other. Um, and then I will be conditioning my hair with, you know, I think I may skip conditioning and just go right into deep conditioning. Let's just be real. Um, if I'm going to, you know, put on a conditioner, it'll be something very cheap, really, you know, like the swabs or whatever. But I will more than likely be deep conditioning with Eden Body Works or the TGIN going in between those um another thing is that i could use one of these like alzi add some honey add some oil and use this as a deep conditioner all right for my leave-in it would definitely be the camille rose honey hydrate along with the uh, lobby body curl style sealing in with oil and that is it i don't plan on styling my hair during this time i don't plan on doing a flat iron in august yeah i'm giving my hair like a good two to three month loving condition yeah that's what we're going to be doing so yeah that's the hair y'all get that out the way family life is okay everyone's getting on my nerves so they're okay um one of the things that i signed jb up for and those of you who have young children and even if you don't have young children i think this is great for anyone 12 and under we went through um out school is it called out school y'all i'm sorry i'm i'm losing my memory outschool.com and so it's basically where teachers or educators go online and you could take virtual virtual classes no matter what subject they have history english legos minecraft um you know math with legos and so the teacher create the class and they have a little discussion, excuse me, a little description of the class. And the teacher even has some of them, not all. The teachers have a video, an introductory video. So I love that to keep JB busy throughout the summer. So they even have camps, virtual camps that you can sign your kids up. Very affordable. The class that JB taking um, is taking next Monday is only $10. Okay, I can understand if you have multiple kids, it could get a little, a little pricey. But if you have one or two children, look into it. Okay, it's called outschool.com. Come, you can sign your kids up they want to know their age and yeah um especially with jb being an only child i think this is great for him um so yeah besides that y'all we're not really doing anything we're staying in staying put we've canceled all of our plans for august my my big birthday was in august we were going to california that's not happening anymore the cases in phoenix are going up my husband sent me an email. I'm like, Shy, don't be sending me this stuff. He sent me an email of all the cases. <laughs> Not all the cases, but some data that they received. And I'm like, oh, you know, um, him and all his co-workers or everyone at the hospital had to get tested. Come to find out two people came back positive in the entire hospital. Hundreds of people that work there, okay? Two people came back positive, but they were asymptomatic, meaning they were not exhibiting any symptoms. So that's very alarming, very interesting. Um, because they're scanning people when they come in, you know, making sure that their temperature is normal. And these people had a normal temperature and still tested positive, all right? <clears throat> y'all, and that's what's going on, y'all. I really don't want to get into the, the discussions of what's going on in the country because when I tell you I am, I cannot go in there. As someone who is an empath, I am very sensitive so I don't even my husband has the news on but I try to tune it out I try to unplug I'm not on Facebook a lot right now I'm on I, I post like every three days on Instagram and I, I, I know what's going on I'm aware of what's going on with the rioting and the looting and the protests in general which in my opinion are three di three different things with three different agendas I'm gonna go there and that's you know um, from what I understand, they, they're saying that he t he tested positive for the coronavirus. A hard side eye, hard side eye on that information. That's all I'm gonna. Yeah, the media, you really gotta be careful 
on you know how much you take in and whether or not you want to believe some of that stuff i don't believe that just just saying i really don't so i am very careful of what i watch what i see i'm very careful what i let my child soak in right now because he's so young so impressionable right now he still does not understand the the um complications of the coronavirus he understands bits of racism but i don't want my child I want my child to be a child right now. He's only seven years old. And I kind of mentioned this briefly in my vlogs. We will, we will have to have those discussions, age appropriate discussions as he gets older. Honestly, in a couple more years. That just breaks my heart, y'all. And like four or five more years, we would have to have these discussions that he will be treated differently because of what he looks like. Unfortunately, he will have to proceed with caution when he gets pulled over by a police officer. Um, JB's pretty with it. He's pretty smart. I think that he won't, I think it won't be a question of why me when we have these, have these discussions, you know what I mean? Um, but one thing I, I, I encourage y'all to do is pray for your children. Pray over your family. Let me tell you something. I, I was praying over my child before I even knew what gender he was. I was praying on my, over my child the entire time over the womb. I pray over my child daily. I pray over my husband daily. I pray over my family daily. You have to cover your family. Okay? And we're going to move on from that. Alright y'all. So, girl, what I'm watching on YouTube. Let me tell you something. First of all, I did watch African, uh, I was actually in African Hair Guides last video, <laughs> last live. I wasn't in it. I was participating in it. And by the way, Angel, a couple of people asked to see your Nezzy Naps. A couple of people uh, recommended your videos just to let you know, girl. So, y'all, um, what was I going to say? He was looking at that family the interracial couple she's married to is he is he korean you guys i don't want to get it wrong i believe he's korean and she's black and they have like a hundred kids child i was like where's my breath control <laughs> they have seriously like seven or nine children beautiful family i've watched some of their videos before i will say this i feel like especially when he tries to introduce the mixed children to his Asian side. I feel like a lot of that, solely based on how he's wording, he's, it's definitely clickbait. I don't wanna say he's using his children for that, but I'm like, is that necessary for you to film that? Your, your grandparents and even great grandparent, I think, their reaction to your children. Do we really need to see all, I mean, it's just, it's interesting but a part of me is like why are we doing this really why are you really doing this so but anyway the video i saw was her <laughs> i think the video is titled wash day with seven different hair types or something I'm like there's seven what there's seven different hair types anyway girl again beautiful family and y'all y'all i'm talking about the, the amazing what are they named mazelli m-a-z-e-l-m-a-z-e-l-e-e -E -E. y'all know who i'm talking about so she was doing all the kids hair different hair textures yeah but i feel like she was one very heavy-handed especially when it came to the oils you don't need all that oil on the baby's hair. She was very heavy-handed when it comes to the oils and she was tearing through their had the the kids I'm like, i know they tend to hit it they were you know some of them were screaming out in pain and let's just be honest some of us went through that too as children but our parents didn't know any better and our parents weren't filming it and put it on youtube for views yes i said it so she has so much information at her hands that i don't understand i don't understand why she felt the need to use incorrect products and tools in doing the baby's hair i really i didn't i will say her only saving grace was styling she did a fabulous job at styling all of the children's hair okay so and if, if you're not familiar with the family they have she has children of her own and then they had a, a bunch of kids together again beautiful family i have nothing against people who have big big families hell my family came from a big family my mom is the youngest of 12 kids. My dad is the middle of 10. I have like 200 ratchet ass first cousins. <laughs> I have a big family. So it's a beautiful thing. Okay, baby, I'm, I'm gonna be done in a minute, okay? Ooh. <laughs> 
So, good see. I had someone recommend me to watch. I didn't see all of it, but I saw some reaction to. It's her name, Makai, Micah Mika, Mika Stoffer. Their channel is the Stoffer family, Stack Safer family. I don't really watch them. I'm not subscribed to them. They are a family with multiple kids and the big thing now the team on their family is she gave back her adopted child i was shocked first of all i didn't even know you could do that apparently she adopted this little boy when he was like basically a baby like a year old or a toddler had the child for a couple of years he's special needs he's autistic and they can't handle it apparently apparently and so they went through the process of rehoming him. Y'all, the child is only four years old. Well, I I saw like two minutes of their video and I couldn't take it. I was like, this is too much for me. Even my child was behind me and he's like, mommy, they really gave him back? I'm like, yeah, I get it. Special needs, well, I don't get it because I don't have a special needs child, but I understand it could be frustrating to have a special needs child and how draining it could be on you with this child and the patience that you have to have. But those of you, you know, when we have a child, we don't know what we're going to get. Okay. When you, you have your baby, you hope that everything's going to be well. You have no idea how this child is going to turn out mentally, physically, well, emotionally. You have no idea. But you deal with it. You don't say, okay, I can't I can handle it. Here's it. I, I, you know, some people do. Some people end up giving their child up for, you know. Uh, dropping their child off at the fire station. Y'all remember that story a couple of years ago? Well, the, the father dropped off all his kids at the fire station. That was, even that is horrible. So, I really, I, you know, I don't sympathize with the parents. All my sympathy is going towards that child. Because he cannot help that. He cannot help his situation. So, not only did y'all asses go over to China to get him. You had him for a couple of years. Oh, and I think they went ahead and had another baby. They had a baby. So, why would you have a baby knowing you already have a special needs child you're already struggling with? Had a baby. Now, you have this special needs child. And you kept your baby. Like, that is horrible. You wanted to, to, to be the savior. Go to another country and get you a child. Turns out you couldn't. That's all I'm going to say about that. That is horrible. Absolutely a horrible thing to do to a child. And like I said, y'all pray over that baby. That is the trauma that he, you know, is probably experiencing. Anyway, so you guys, some sad news. Apparently, we lost someone in the hair community. I saw a video from Lair Godone a couple of days ago. I was subscribed to this young lady and it... Oh my god, I'm really, I'm trying not to make this video be that way. We're going to get into some fun stuff in a minute here, I promise. Sorry y'all, I just did the color a little bit. Now I look chocolate. So anyway, Nap Queen. I will subscribe to her. I first saw her a couple of years ago, like four years ago. She did this beautiful style, curly style on her four type hair, beautiful. Saw her most recent video and y'all, like literally the, one of the top comments was like, congratulations on you going through this transitional phase. And she responded to it. I almost started crying. She responded to it just a couple of weeks ago saying, you know, thank you. And it was almost as if it was in the atmosphere that something was going to happen because she was on the verge of going through this change in her life her living living boyfriend and ended up killing her anyway y'all enough of that I, I will say if you're in a domestic situation it it is hard it is rough but please get out please 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 get out this situation it is never 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 a good thing to stay so y'all let's lighten it up i know how i'm getting tear y'all girl let's lighten it up what i've been watching y'all i've been watching more movies than there anything really i'm trying to stay uplifted trying to look at some more feel good movies and just feel good shows i did end up finishing sweet magnolia y'all i loved it i love the series um the ending was good a great clip hanger for season two so y'all i got a recommendation to watch how stella got her groove back child <laughs> First of all, when this movie came out, I was only 17 years old. So, like I stated in one of my other videos, when you watch a movie as a grown-ass woman, um, watch it again, you totally look at things differently. So, I know most of y'all have seen how Stella got, got her groove back. And isn't it based off of Homegirl's situation and he turned out to be gay? 
because they were on Oprah a couple of years afterwards. Ciao. So anyway, um, watching it now, and she's talking to the young man. What is his name? And she's talking to um, Homeboy. At the time, like I told you, I was 17 years old. I was like, oh, he's fine. Like, she's just been, she's better go ahead and push up on that because he's fine. He's looking at her. Got that dark skin, those pretty teeth. Yes. Now, with me being almost 40 years old, a couple of weeks shy of turning 40, and the character is like 40, you know, um, Angelo uh, Bassett is playing a character who's 40 years old. Now, I'm looking at it like, he's way too young for her. <laughs> I'm like, there is no way. There is no way. I don't think I would even talk to someone who's 30. Y'all know I like my men up there, girl. Like when I saw I saw Obama last night speaking, and Obama talking about he's turning what he's he's 59. I'm like, oh yes, Obama. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I get way off. So yeah, now I'm looking at like, nah, he's way too. I stopped watching it. I'm like, I can't watch this. He's she's a she is so thirsty. <laughs> Um, I started to watch, what else? I'm looking at my thing, y'all. I watched this scary movie called Eli. Really good, really good twist. It's a scary movie on Netflix. Not what I expected at all. I'm starting to watch, what is that? Altered Carbon, what is that? And it has the guy from The Killing, but he got real buff. That's another one. If you have not seen The Killing, oh, that's up there with one of the top series, Crime, up there. But the actor is also in this Alter Carbon. It's good, you guys. Now, I will say, the first episode, I'm only on episode two, the first episode reminded me of that movie, The Island. Have you ever seen that? I think that's on Netflix, too. It really, really did remind me of that movie. I'm going to stick with it. I heard it's good. So, yeah, Alter Carbon, I started. I was looking at Blood and Water. It's on my list. I'm going to watch it. It's on my list. So, I went ahead and also added Fargo, which is on Hulu. And there was something else I added. Look at, look at my list, y'all. Saints and Sinners. Did I add that? I think I added that. I added that. I watched that movie that won the Oscar Parasite. Child, it was good, but it didn't deserve no damn Oscar. Was it? Did it get movie of the year? That was no movie of the year. I don't think so. No, a uh, uh, Peppa Pig episode was better than that. So I. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good movie, but in my opinion, it didn't it didn't deserve a uh, Oscar. It was an Oscar worthy, yeah. So that is it, you guys. I know this this chit chat was all over the place. I do apologize, but yeah, hair stuff. Got you got a little bit of everything you want in here. You got a little motivation speak. You got a little hair stuff. Um, you got some comedy. It's something for everybody. You shouldn't complain. Okay. All right, you guys. I will see you later. Take care. Bye.